Hi, I'm Karen with CK Customs PA. I'm also an admin on the Facebook group, Cricut Help Desk Unofficial. In this video, we're going to look at using offsets in Cricut Design Space. We'll start out using a blank canvas in Cricut Design Space. We'll first play with some text. So if I go ahead and open a new text box and type hello, you'll see that come onto the screen. The first thing you'll want to do is adjust your font and have it exactly as you're going to want it for your design. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it and move my letters over just a tad. I'm going to go ahead and select them all and align to the bottom for this specific font. If you're using a script, you will want to weld your font. In this case, I'm not using a script so I do not need to weld them. I'm going to go ahead and select all and we're going to go ahead and jump into the offsets. In your top menu bar, there's an offset menu. When you click that, a box will appear. What it's going to appear with are your most recent offset settings. You can adjust the distance of your offset using this slider. You'll see on the design behind that the offset is there with this fine line. As I move the slider, you're going to see that offset adjust. It gets larger and smaller as you move it along the slider. You also have the options to either have rounded corners or square corners. You can see on my L's, they're currently rounded corners. If I flip this to square, you will see those adjust. The O stays rounded because that is a rounded letter, but anywhere where there's a hard or there's a hard corner, it will be squared off if you have that type of corner selected. I'm going to go back to the rounded corner. The other item you see here are the weld offsets. This will only appear when you're setting an offset for multiple items at once. Because my hello was broken into individual letters, and you can see on the right side, I have an individual layer for each item. It's welding them together as one offset. If I uncheck that, you're going to see where each object is going to receive its own independent shadow or offset. Now you can see where the O line completes, where each L has its own offset as well. Um, that it creates. I'm going to go ahead and recheck it to make it a single welded offset. I'm going to click apply. Based off of the settings you chose, it's going to create that offset for you. It's an additional layer that you can use with your design. If I click it and drag it away, you'll see that it's separate and you can set it to whatever color you'd like for when you want to send this to your Cricut to cut. Offsets are also used uh, to create shadows. Design Space also allows you to do an inset. If I do a shape, such as a circle, and want to create an inset, I can go back to that offset menu and take that slider down below the center point, and you're going to see where that line has now moved within the shape. You can set it whatever distance within that you would like and click apply. Now it's created another shape smaller than my original as an inset. You can use this to create shape outlines. So if I highlight both items and slice them over in the bottom right, I'm going to be left with a ring. You can do that with multiple shapes. If I clear my canvas, I'll show you it again with a star. So with my star, if I go to offset, and again, it remembered that last setting, so it does have it on the inset side, on the left side of the center of the slider. Make it as large or as small as you'd like. Click apply. You get that extra shape, and if you select 
both, you can slice and then break it apart and you'll actually have your star outline. So let's put some of this into practice for quick use. If I'm going to have some text and let's kind of, let's change the font on this one. Let's make it something a little more fun where I can move it around and actually weld them together. There we go. So let me ungroup and bring some of these letters together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this piece. You'll wanna weld it before you do your offset. Oops, we got that fill in effect. So to get rid of the fill in effect, I hit undo, make this much larger, weld again. Now we can bring it back down to size. A little tip there for you when you're welding. All right, let's say we want to make a sticker using print then cut. And we want some stars uh, as part of this sticker. So let's put a star on this side. Let's duplicate, put another star on the other side. We can select all three and we can center vertically. We can distribute horizontally so that they're even and centered. Um, let's say we want red stars. And I think I moved that a little bit. Let's hit undo. Okay. And um, a blue hello. And we want to set this up for a print then cut um, where it cuts around the whole thing in a nice type offset manner. I can select all three, come to my offset menu. And I'm going to go with the um, right side so it's larger than. And I'm watching my lines grow. I want to create one big shape that my print then cut will use. Okay, let's go to about there. All right, I'm going to keep my rounded corners. I, that's just my preference, the way I like it. And keep it welded. Click Apply. So what I can do is I can actually make that um, white for my print then cut. And let's go ahead and change our canvas background so you can see that a little easier. Let's make that yellow just for demonstration to see what we're looking at here. But I have stars, I have hello, and I have my, um, my offset background for all of it. If you want to do a print and cut, you can select all of those items at once flatten it on the lower right. We now have a single print then cut. You can print that onto sticker paper, onto printable HTV, whatever you may want it on. And when this goes to cut, it's only going to cut around this white offset border. I hope that helped you to learn how to use the offsets and insets within Cricut Design Space. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy crafting!